The System Pro from Compaq, released in November 1989, was arguably the first true PC-based server. It supported Intel's 486 chip, a 32-bit bus, RAID disk and dual processor support well before its main rivals. Topic: <laughs> Innovative features. The System Pro, along with the simultaneously released Compact Desk Pro 486, was one of the first two commercially available computer systems containing the new Acer bus. The System Pro was also one of the first PC-style systems specifically designed as a network server, and as such was built from the ground up to take full advantage of the Acer bus. It included such features as multiprocessing the original systems were asymmetric only, hardware RAID, and bus mastering network cards. All models of System Pro used a full height tower configuration, with eight internal hard drive bays. Topic. Multiprocessing At its initial release in November 1989, the System Pro supported up to two 33 MHz 386 processors, but early in 1990 33 MHz 486 processors became an option the processors were housed on proprietary daughterboards. Because the system was asymmetric, 386 and 486 processors could be mixed. Single processor configurations were also available. The only operating system which fully supported the System Pro's asymmetric multiprocessing was a custom version of SCO Unix, sold by Compaq. However, when running OS 2, certain applications, notably Sybase SQL Server, could be offloaded to the second processor, and later, Noval Netware SFT3 was able to offload its I/O engine. It is worth noting that the original versions of Windows NT 3.1 included a hardware abstraction layer specifically for the System Pro. Despite NT's symmetric multiprocessing design, this HAL could offload some kernel tasks to the second CPU. This made Windows NT 3.1 the only version of Windows to support multiprocessor 386-based machines. Topic: <laughs> System Memory Architecture. The system used a state-of-the-art shared memory bus design, called TriFlex architecture, to facilitate its multiprocessing capabilities. The original System Pro shipped with 4 MB 80 ns DRAM, expandable up to 256 MB using proprietary memory modules. <laughs> RAID The System Pro also offered one of the first implementations of RAID, including RAID 5, available on a PC-based system. The original RAID card, called the EDA Intelligent Drive Array, used a proprietary form of IDE, supporting up to four drives internally. At its release, the largest drive available was 210 megabytes. Two EDA cards could be installed, allowing all eight hard drive bays to be filled. Each EDA controller array would appear as a separate logical drive to the operating system, however, providing a grand total of 1.2 GB using RAID 5, or 1.6 GB using non redundant striping. RAID 0, another option called the EDA Expansion Array, provided support for up to seven drives in a single array, housed in an external tower chassis looking virtually identical to the System Pro itself, using an early and very proprietary form of differential SCSI. Note that all hard drives in the System Pro or the Expansion Array were internally mounted drives. Hot swapping was not an option. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Market. The System Pro was marketed for those who had scaled up to the top end of LAN hardware or those who were scaling down from mini computers, and its pricing was set accordingly. At the time of launch, the low end System Pro, a single 33 MHz 386 CPU, 4 MB RAM, and two 1220 MB hard drives listed for $15,999 USD, the same machine with 840 MB of storage 4210 MB hard drives listed for $25,999 USD. A second 386 processor card cost $3,500 USD, and an additional 32 MB of RAM was $21,999 USD. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy The System Pro line continued for several years, ending with the System Pro XL the only model that supported symmetric multiprocessing. 
It was replaced by the Compact ProLine line, which introduced hot swappable drives and the rack mount chassis now popular in data centers. However, the System Pro is notable for having established the PC-based server market, and setting a high water mark for the servers that followed. <laughs>